Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Griddle. As you might already know, the job market is quite dry right now. Hence, a lot of people reached out to me asking for suggestions. How can I find a job in this tough job market? So I'm going to talk about 12 different ways you can find a job. So yeah, that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. If you are new here or if you're not to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of the Programming Griddle family. And also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when our video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. So with that being said, let's get this discussion started. So the first point is a very common one, apply online. We all do that. And yes, you can still find a job using that methodology. A lot of the popular platforms are LinkedIn, Indeed, and there will be a lot of uh, regional uh, job portals as well. So here in the UK, some of the popular ones are CV library, targeted jobs, total jobs. I'll try to put all the links in the description so that you can go to those websites and check out yourself. So that's the first way. The next one is going to be leverage your network and referrals. So when you have done your masters, if you have done your masters, so you can reach out to your professors, you can reach out to alumni, you can reach out to your uh, friends if they are already working in one or the other company and uh, you can try to find some openings via that methodology and it works quite well. I have helped a couple of my batchmates and uh, they have got a job right now so it works. So do try to leverage your network but then if you don't have a network then what to do so that brings us to our next point which is go to meetups there are different websites using which you can go to a meetup or you can find meetup one of the most popular ones are meetup.com and the other one is eventbrite again links will be in the description so try to go to those websites and try to put your location and try to find data science, data analytics, business analytics, whichever field you are looking for. And it is not just limited to data science or something. If you want to find a job in, for example, software development, you can find a lot of uh, meetups related to that as well there. So go to those meetups, try to talk to people, try to build your connection. And that's exactly how I found my internship when I was student and when I was doing my masters. So again, it is a proven methodology and it works so do try out that as well uh, now with that let's move on to our next point which is build strong online presence so you can maybe make a portfolio website and if you don't know how to make a portfolio website it's actually quite easy depending on what kind of website you want so if you want to make a basic one uh, it's actually fairly easy and i already have a video i will leave a card uh, i think somewhere here and uh, you'll be able to make your website within like 30 minutes i think using a template of course so yeah you can watch a, you can watch out that video and uh, you'll be able to make your personal website there put all the projects there the next one could be your linkedin uh, try to enhance your linkedin put all the details there all your experience all your projects certification those kind of things and github is also very important especially when it comes to software development and data science uh, related jobs so try to enhance your github as well so if you need any inspiration you can find my uh, github and my uh, linkedin profile in the description they are not the best uh, but uh, you can get some ideas and inspiration and you can always take things from there so yes it's important to have an online presence in this online world so that's the that's a very important thing to do with that being said let's move on to the next point which is freelancing or hackathons so you can try to find a freelance work it could be a little hard to find a freelance work but uh, it's always good to give it a go so in the meantime when you are trying to find a full-time job it's always good to try other things as well so you can go to upwork or fiverr and there, there you should be able to find some uh, freelance work but that those are not the only two websites they are the popular ones uh, you should be able to just google and find some other websites and uh, some of the times if you want a freelance work you can again ask your professors uh, they should be able to guide you to one of their networks or maybe they will guide you to some of the smaller businesses where you can find some freelance work and when you will work on those things you will not only gain uh, experience you will also build some connections there as well so do try to do that and uh, to find hackathons 
lot of these universities they do conduct various hackathons but if you are struggling to find that i think kaggle competition can be a very good place where you can find uh, interesting projects to work on and usually every couple of months there will always be those kaggle competitions so do try to uh, find those competitions on kaggle and try to participate in those um, so that way you will increase your expertise in a particular uh, domain or area and uh, you will also build some connections there so with that being said let's move on to the next point contribute to open source data science projects so yes uh, when you will start working on these open source uh, projects and there are quite a lot of python packages specifically made for data science you can always contribute to those uh, projects and uh, you will gain quite a lot of badges and uh, recognition which always looks good on your uh, profile so it could be on your github profile you can also share those things on kaggle profile so those badges they look good they're not everything but uh, if you have something you will definitely stand out from the rest of the people who don't have that so do try to participate in those and try to contribute to open source projects now let's move on to the next point which is try to volunteer for data science projects so there are several platforms where you can find these kind of webs uh, these kind of projects one being data kind and i think the other one is omdena so you can go to those websites you can try to find quite a lot of different type of uh, projects and of course you will not be earning anything there but then the kind of exposure and the experience that you will gain it will definitely help you to find a job and uh, maybe make some good connections there and uh, that will potentially lead to a job so yeah participating in these volunteer projects i think it is a good way to gain some experience and then eventually find a job now with that being said let's move on to the next point which is upskill yourself and stay current to the job market or the tech market so when you will be applying for jobs you will have quite a lot of time to work on your personal projects learn different things and this is a good time to pick up few additional skills and uh, you already know that data science is moving so fast every day there's something new so it's important to find some new things and keep learning those things and uh, especially these days gen ai is quite uh, popular so if you are someone who is just getting into data science you have finished your traditional machine learning deep learning and uh, you are applying for jobs based on those skills maybe i think it is worth looking into gen ai as well and uh, try to pick up few things from there do some projects based on that and uh, then we put that in your cv that will give you an edge over someone who does not have those skills but do keep in mind that if you straight away jump into gen ai without knowing the fundamentals of uh, traditional machine learning and deep learning i think that may not help you a lot so it's important to first cover all the uh, basic foundation and then move on to gen ai so yes it's important to uh, maybe pick up some new skills and uh, keep learning so now with that being said let's move on to the next point which is direct outreach so try to reach out directly to the recruiters from specific companies so if there are companies in which you are interested in uh, do try to find a job on the career page and then reach out to the recruiters directly and hopefully you will be able to find something from there um, i have sometimes received even though i'm not a recruiter um, but i have received quite a lot of uh, messages from people saying that uh, I can see this role in your company and I think I'm a suitable candidate for this can you please uh, can you please refer me for this one um so sometimes if I feel like yes the candidate is really good at least from the CV I tend to uh, forward the CV to the recruiter uh, but if you reach out directly to the recruiter I think that would be the better option but then again uh, like we talked in the second point if you can find a referral using these means i think that also helps so that's the that's also something important that you can you can do so with that being said let's move on to the next point which is attend career fairs a lot of these universities they do conduct these career fairs but then there are a lot of companies who like to do these kind of uh, career fairs where they come they showcase various kind of work that they are doing 
and they try to attract some good talent from universities so you should try to attend those career fairs and uh, some of our friends they were able to find a good opportunity from those career fairs you learn a lot about the company you learn a lot about the projects so even if you do not get to know about the job openings from there but then at least you will be able to know what the company is working on and then using your brain a bit you will be able to figure out what kind of tech stack they might be using or if not tech stack what kind of technology they might be using and then you can probably learn those things put them on your cv and then try to find if there are any openings or if some opening comes in the future you can apply to those roles and uh, hopefully it will uh, it will help you to get a get a call from the recruiter and eventually lead to an interview and hopefully you will clear it and you will be able to find a job so it's important uh, there are quite a lot of leads and they all feed into one but uh, i think it's important to attend those uh, uh, job fairs as well now with that being said let's move on to the next point which is leverage recruiters or job agency so if nothing of the above points that i mentioned works for you you can reach out to recruiting agencies and uh, they should be able to help you it is definitely not one of my favorite ones but if it works it works because um, when you apply for jobs on linkedin there will be quite a lot of job postings posted directly by recruiters so once you apply for one particular job they will have your cv and uh, sometimes they do reach out to you saying that uh, we have a new client and uh, um, they're looking for a data scientist and we think your profile is good so we would like to forward your cv to them and eventually if they like your cv then we will arrange something between you and uh, the company so that's how things work but uh, if you feel like there are some recruiting agencies that uh, you have not applied to or they don't have your cv you can directly search for uh, recruiting agencies in your area or in the in the country and you can register there you can upload your cv and hopefully they'll be able to help you uh, find a job so that's again something which you can you can do so now that brings us to our last point which is specialize in certain domains and uh, skills and i mentioned this in the previous video as well where i talked about the importance of uh, specialization and how it helps you finding a job so do check out that video next